Well, I don't think there are two standards. Uh, Commissioner Silver addressed this earlier today and, and acknowledged that one of the things we think make the NBA special is that we do encourage individuals to have the opportunity, not just players, whether it's players, management, anybody else, uh, to have personal opinions. They are personal opinions. Uh, Adam acknowledged in this case there's some economic repercussions for that. What I can tell you for sure is it's not going to erase the decades of work that uh, you know myself and everyone else in the NBA has put in in building uh, a tremendous base for basketball in China, and I think this will pass, and I do think our future in China is probably pretty remarkable. Do you, do you worry, though, about future, I mean, for example, Steve Kerr, your coach, your great coach, very outspoken as well, oftentimes, on issues of importance to yeah. him. He's a worldly fellow, grown yeah. up in, I think, Beirut, Lebanon, for yep. example. Father was a diplomat. You know, what if he were to come out and similarly say something like that? Does the league have to put a muzzle on people who want to speak, perhaps, about the democracy protests? It's not going to happen. That's, that's not what the NBA is about. That's not what our leadership is about. And I, as I said, I think it's one of the things that has really distinguished the NBA uh, in terms of the encouragement of everyone to have a voice. These are, especially our athletes, these are really smart young people who know a lot more than how to play the game of basketball. And a learned opinion, Steve Kerr is a great example. I mean, who has greater standing uh, to talk about gun control than someone who has suffered the loss of a parent through assassination with a gun, right? Steve has great standing in talking about that. And no one's ever in the NBA going to discourage people from having those opinions. Then why say it's regrettable? Well, because uh, we have worked so hard in China, actually going back to the 70s. Uh, Abe Poland took the Washington then bullets to China in the 70s, and we have a very big presence in China today. We've taken the Golden State Warriors there twice. I've been there on my own promoting the game of basketball. Uh, and basketball brings people together, but it also historically has been a place where we can have conversations like this because it's a common ground for people who otherwise don't have anything else in common except their love for sports. So. I think historically, this is the role that sports always plays. So maybe the big surprise was the, the reaction from the Chinese, all right? I mean, that I, I was surprised having done stories about how much the Chinese love basketball. And the Houston Rockets in particular. I, I'm hurting for them today, too, because uh, Yao Ming is the biggest reason that the NBA today is as popular as it is in China. And, and Yao and others in the Rockets in particular have probably done more to promote the game of basketball than uh, any other team. Let's put some numbers to it. In terms of the business opportunity in China, how big is it both for the Warriors and for the league in general? Well, it's the only uh, place in the world other than the United States we have a separately incorporated business. So NBA China uh, has literally hundreds of employees in China today who are promoting the game of basketball and promoting the sport and its business on television and consumer products. Uh, we have teams going over there. I believe uh, we're going to have a team over there next week. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I think when we put this in perspective, six months from now, it's not going to look as big as it's looking today. You don't, you don't see a long-term uh, risk here, then? I just think the positive side of it uh, is overwhelming when taken in proportion to what happened yesterday. Because you do have, you know, you have Chinese population that's getting state-run media that sees these protesters as violent, riotous, which obviously may not very well be the case, as we all know. They're reacting to this sort of this tweet in the sense of you're attacking us, but you think that this all dies down, or? I, I, I would think so. I'm an optimist, and I, and I think, again, on balance, what the NBA has done in China is quite remarkable, especially over the last 20 years. And I think at the end of the day, uh, that's really what will carry our story.